Welcome to World of Fusion. This is a part one of crankshaft, connecting rod, and piston assembly. By the end of this series, you will be able to design, assemble, animate, and render the assembly. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, here we are in Fusion. I would like to save this document. Uh, please make sure the location you are saving. I would like to save it as PCC assembly. So PCC meant for P, P for piston, C for crankshaft, and C for connecting rod. And here I would like to create a new component. Right click. On the browser, new component and rename it as crankshaft. So now we have crankshaft component created. So all the features that I do will be recorded inside my crankshaft. So if you activate top level, it will be recorded uh, under uh, top level. So if you activate this crankshaft, component only so all the features that you do will be recorded inside the crankshaft all right make sure that it is activated this radio button is activated here and now i would like to create a sketch on front plane i'm selecting the front plane see on the keyboard for circle or you can select the circle from here Draw a circle of 40 mm dia. By default, mm is the unit. If you want to change, you can change it using document settings. So I'm going to finish my sketch. E for extrude or select extrude from here in the create. Actually, it about 30 mm and say OK in the extrude dialog box. And now I would like to create one more sketch on this face, this side face. Create a sketch. I'm going to make sure you select this face, not this face. This face. Circle again. Thirty eight mm. Now my circle is created. I would like to finish the sketch and extrude. Select inner profile that we have created just now. Extrude it about forty two mm. And here you have to notice that we are providing draft angle. So distance is provided forty two. And the draft angle will be minus 4 degrees. So all the dimensions that I'm taking are from a real uh, crankshaft. Fine, we got the two sketches and two extrudes. So now that we got the support for crankshaft, let's create the web. So to create the web, we are going to insert the sketch with dimensions as a canvas so under insert please select canvas insert from my computer and i will be linking this image to you in the description so you have to download this and then you have to locate this image in your local computer So now image got loaded here in the canvas and I need to select the face on which I want it to be. So I would like to select the uh, left side face of my support. So now if I switch to front view, I can see the image here. I would like to rotate in this direction and this is my web about 180 degrees and if I scale it up. So I have this inner circle, you see, right? So I need to match this uh, inner circle with 
already existing support then it will be scale perfect now it almost closely matches try adjusting with this scaling okay now it looks good for me I'm going to say OK in the canvas. I would like to accept this. So now what we have to do is we need to trace this profile. And then we will create one side of this profile and then we will we'll mirror it. And uh, finally we will create the arc. After that we will use make sure that all the constraints are applied. Then we will apply the dimensions starting from small entities like these fillets because uh, the, the sketch won't uh, distort after you create uh, these dimensions if you create bigger dimensions first the sketch may distort and it becomes uh, difficult for you to um, come back and edit again so please follow whatever i'm saying and uh, it'll be good you can experiment later if you are following uh, please follow whatever i'm doing and uh, later you can experiment on your own way i'm going to create a sketch on make sure you select the support this support end i would like to switch to front uh, home view to make sure that i'm selecting correct face not uh, i would like to select this face the left side face of the support As soon as I select that face, we turn to sketch mode. Now I have all the sketching tools. Select line and this 10 mm line I'm going to draw. I'd like to trace the profile just carefully see just like Photoshop tracing you can trace. I would like to if you hold your left mouse button you will get a curve you don't need to switch to uh, arc again to get the curve so you have to hold your left mouse button and then draw this again you have to hold your left mouse button do not uh, escape or if you press escape or uh, enter you have to select line again and then hold left mouse button and draw this Repeat the same here, one here and again one more and it stops here. So here oh, it is automatically suggesting me to go with the horizontal line. Okay, I'm going to accept the, we got horizontal constraint automatically applied and I would like to close this to the horizon. Now I'm done with my sketch for now. Right click. Okay. So let's apply the constraints. I want this line to be vertical. And uh, one more thing is this line pressing escape to get rid of that constraint. I want uh, this line to be construction line so it won't participate in the geometry but it will be used only for the reference so in the sketch palette select construction so now it is a construction line pressing escape to get rid of that command that is all for this video in the upcoming videos we will finish off the sketch and with a couple of extrudes we will be finishing the crankshaft thank you for watching Stay tuned.